seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hi guys, this is Danny Lambert, president and founder of Plush Republic Digital Marketing. Uh, today I'm going to be covering how to create a retargeting, otherwise known as remarketing, audience within Google AdWords. For those of you who aren't necessarily familiar with what a retargeting or remarketing audience is, uh, it is a segmentation that allows us to separate uh, traffic that has already been on our web pages, used our mobile app, engaged our YouTube videos. Uh, any sort of way to distinguish people who have already had touch points with their brand and market to them specifically as opposed to the masses. Uh, and this is super valuable because these are people who have already engaged with you, are familiar with your branding, uh, may have intended to convert and then just abandoned because they were busy. I mean, there's a million and one ways to, to split this out, but overall this is generally more qualified traffic uh, than any other traffic that you're going to be targeting. So how you go about doing this, I'm in Google AdWords in the background here. And I'll just click on any one of the campaign, any one of the tabs on the top, I click campaigns. Uh, this will have this side menu here uh, displayed, in which case you would come in and click shared library. And then I'd come under this audiences section and click view. So by default, uh, AdWords creates these three, or sorry, these two, all visitors and similar to all visitors. Uh, this is going to track everyone on your site that has uh, been there and when you have the remarketing tag on your site. Uh, there's four different types of remarketing audiences that you can create. There's website visitors, so targeting anyone who visits your website or any sub-segment of your website. Uh, people who are users of your mobile app. Customer email list, which is super valuable for like SaaS businesses or e-commerce. You just upload a list of all of your emails and be able to target those people specifically with like display advertisements, hypothetically speaking. And then YouTube users, anyone who's interacted or engaged with your, your YouTube videos or your YouTube channel, which I could target you guys right now for watching this video. Uh, before you get started here, you have to make sure you have the remarketing tag on your site. If you don't, I have another video, which I'll link in the, the description, uh, as to how you would set the remarketing tag on your site. But you would essentially come in here uh, and install this code snippet on your website, and that's how I'll start tracking people for remarketing. Again, you can watch that in my other video if you're not familiar with how to do that. But as you can see now, it's already set up. The AdWords tag was seen today at 6.09 p.m., so I'm ready to start creating my audiences. Uh, I'm only going to focus on the website one because that's probably the easiest and the most relevant to everyone watching this. So I would come in, click Add Remarketing List, Website Visitors. From here, I would have to name it. Uh, so I want to say I only want to target people who viewed my blog. So blog visitors. And I'd click visitors of a page. Within here, there's a lot of options that you have. Uh, page visitors, people who visited a page but didn't view another page, uh, visited during a specific date, so maybe visited during like a trade show and you wanted to target those people with trade show messaging, or visitors of a page with a specific tag, which is a little bit more difficult and uh, you would implement through your tagging that I discussed in the other video. Um, but we'll focus right here on visitors of a specific page. So from here, I would go to my website and I want to go pick the URL of my blog, which is this. And I'll just take that, Command C, plop that right in here. And I'll say URL contains plushrepublic.com slash blog. Uh, from here, you can include past users who match these rules, which I typically always do. And then you set your membership duration. So for how long do you want people to be in this bucket? Uh, many people use 90 days. Uh, I tend to do between 90 and 180 days, depending on what it is, maybe even sometimes a year. Uh, it just depends on how much traffic you get and how long you want to be able to target those visitors or how long you consider them to be relevant still. If they kind of forget about you and your business after 90 plus days, like maybe then you would set it to 90, uh, which is what I'll do here. And this is just a helpful box to give yourself a description. All visitors of the Plush Republic blog. Perfect. You hit save, and there you go. That's all there is to it. This will take a little bit while. It says updating to populate how much, uh, how large my list size is. So for targeting on search, YouTube, or display, um, and then once it's populated, you can just add this to any one of your campaigns in the future as a targeting option, uh, and it'll display to those people. Or you could do it as the sole option, and you could only target people who've visited uh, your blog or visited your website. 
So hopefully this helps. I have a lot of other videos on similar topics to this and structuring your AdWords campaigns and being the most effective that you can be with uh, SEM. Uh, so feel free to watch those. Also, please like and subscribe if you found this valuable. And you can contact me at any time with questions. Uh, it's daniel.lambert at plusherpublic.com. Happy marketing, guys. Hope you succeed.